Hello everyone, I'm here for my first tutorial about adaptive SVG colors. So currently, as you can see, we have a project here. Uh, first of all, we have the main.dart. I just cleaned up the uh, base Flutter project that we usually have when we freshly created a new Flutter project. And as you can see, I've changed the title to Startup Guy Demo. Uh, the, we, we have set the theme. Uh, we have a primary color on the live theme. So this is the light theme. And then we have the dark theme here. And as you can see on the dark theme, uh, we have primary color as black and scaffold background color as white. Um, and then for the dark theme, we have a primary color as yellow and a scaffold background color of the purple. Um, and then on our pub spec YAML, um, we have added the Flutter SVG. Uh, on the date of this recording, we have 2.0.10 plus 1 as the version of the Flutter SVG package. Um, you can add the latest one if you would like. Um, but yeah, we're going to use this version for this tutorial. Uh, and also, we have set the assets folder, um, assets slash images slash, uh, where we have our uh, image sample.svg which is the SVG that we're going to use for this um, you know, tutorial. Um, and then uh, we have the home view, uh, which is the one we're going to you know, work with. And currently we're showing the um, startup guide text and then the SVG picture that we just imported uh, into our assets slash images. And then we have a background color, uh, which is based on of the scaffold background color that we have set here in our, um, you know, light theme and dark theme. So as you can see on our screen, we have uh, the emulator running and it's showing the light theme mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to dark theme mode. And then you can see the problem whenever we uh, switch to the dark theme mode. So currently it's not uh, okay as you can see here we have a purple background uh, and then we have a purple svg color as well so what we want is for this uh, svg color to um in the color of the svg to adapt based on our uh, primary color or it depends on what what color we want so first of all let's try to add another class here so we're going to add um, a class, let's call it uh, SVG Color Mapper. And then we're going to create a class called SVG Color Mapper. And then we're going to implement uh, color mapper, which is a class from the Flutter SVG package that we just uh, imported in the dependency. And then we're going to uh, add the color uh, of the, what do you call this? Um, the color that we're going to change. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the color that uh, the the purple background or, or or the the color of the the svg okay so this is the from color so let's try that okay and then we're going to import first the material okay the dark ui i should say so and then after that we're going to also create a variable for the color or let's let's name it to color so basically this is the color that we want it to change to okay so and then after that um of course we're going to create a construction for this um let's just uh hide the emulator for now and then uh spg color mapper and then this that from color of course and then this that to color and then we have that okay so let's
let's clean that up uh currently we have two implementations that we need to write um or yeah I should say one so it's just a substitute method uh, after the substitute method uh we're going to add in uh you know the required functionalities functionalities inside of this so um what we want to do is we have to check if the color of the svg is equal to the front color which is the color that you know the the color of the svg that we uh, which is the purple one right so we're going to check on that and then instead of you know showing that color we're going to return the two color okay it's that that it's that simple right so if in case that color you know so basically substitute method uh runs through all the elements and the colors in the svg and check if we're going we're currently checking if the color is equal to the from color that we will you know input here and then instead of returning the from color original color uh it will show the two color that we were going to supply later on so and then lastly we're going to return a color if you know the color that we you know inputted is um not the the one that should be changed so let's you know see this in action let's go back to our home view um inside svg picture uh let's try to um change this one so what we're going to do is instead of doing the assets let's uh delete this and then let's call svg picture uh it will ask us with um an svg asset loader so where is that uh okay so bytes loader so we have a bytes loader uh, we're going to add an svg asset loader so as you can see and it will ask for um the asset name we're just going to paste in our previously uh path uh image and then we're going to set in the color mapper and then the color mapper that we just class that we just created svg color mapper okay and then we're going to supply in the 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 the, the values that we just created so we have the front color right okay so we didn't um set it to because i just want you to you know uh, to see the values here so we're going to make this required um make this required so yeah just for us to see the the name of the var the, the parameters so from color um what we're going to do is we're going to copy the color here uh which is the purple here so the color value the hex value here we're just going to copy this one and then we're going to supply that here uh in our from color so we're going to say color um 0x um ff yeah there you go so basically uh we also supply the alpha here and then the original hex value of the color so hopefully you have understand that um and then two color so basically the color that we want it to uh, become uh, so two color okay there you go um what we want is for it to adapt to the theme color of the primary so we're going to copy this one uh we're just simply uh, copying the theme color okay so i just put some uh, comma there we're just going to format that so easy format uh we're also going to put const here and then let's see um and then let's show our emulator so as you can see our emulator just changed the color right so if you try to um change the theme mode to light again it should be able to go back okay so currently it's changing to primary as well uh, because we um 
change the the value uh, of the from color to call to color so let's try to change it back to dark theme and yeah pretty much changed so it, we have an adaptive svg color right now um here's the class again it's pretty simple and you know hopefully you have learned something new uh you know to create a more adaptive you know experience uh for not just the light mode but also for dark mode so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this tutor tutorial please like subscribe and comment for more videos like like this you know it, it i i really you know appreciate um you know those people who will comment subscribe and like um again i will be motivated to create more videos in the future if you do thank you so much and have a great day evening and you know thank you